Just started this uh, cleaning process about five minutes ago. Uh, so far there is only distilled water and all the junk that's being cleaned out of the plate and cell assembly, which is right here. Uh, jumper cables, which you can obviously see, are going up to the Camaro. The other ones are for the battery charger, trying to keep the battery charged and to uh, keep the process going. I don't feel like killing the car battery for it. Um, this smaller one here and the one right there is for the marine duty water pump which has the full stainless steel housing. Um, and I think I'm just gonna, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is this very slight reddish color already. I've only got this on about in five, five minutes, if even that. Um, I'm just gonna let it go. I wanna see how warm it's gonna get, because I know it's gonna get hot. I want to uh, make sure it gets as hot as it's gonna get before I start adding any NaOH to uh, avoid over amping the cell. And then, uh, and then we'll go from there as far as saying production and amperage draw. And in the cell is uh, 25 plates total. Uh, I think it was, I don't know, I can't remember how many plates there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two. There's twelve plates positive and thirteen plates negative. Everything is all stainless steel with the exception of the two end plates, which are at the moment only cold rolled steel. I didn't want to waste the money on a big plate. Such as that, because I had that have I had it custom machined at a shop until uh, I knew that I was really happy with the design. As it is, I'm going to want to make sure these are uh, larger and probably more of them, because this pump right here flows quite a bit as it is. Uh, it's pushing quite a bit of pressure out of that thing when I actually have it on. Um, I may end up adding two or three more, one or two more in there to assist in the circulation of the system. The uh, pump itself the, it only goes up to 10 PSI, so I don't want to go over that anyways. But I do want to make sure that my flow is up. And it, this thing is supposed to flow about 240 gallons, a, 240 gallons an hour, which is about four gallons a minute. So it should be enough if I can get it large enough. But We'll see how that goes. As it is, I've already, I'm already not happy with the quarter inch tubing I've got in here. Although it looks good for production, it won't actually flow enough, I don't think. So I don't know, we'll see. I'll play that along as as we go. Uh, well, anyways, this, like I said, this is, uh, this is just the first initial test run. There's no electrolyte at all in the system. It is just plain distilled water. Uh, just trying to see how well the system is going to run. I turned the pump off to uh, to uh, see the actual production rate and see if there's anything coming out of it. And uh, here I'll actually go ahead and I'll turn it back on. And that's with the uh, with the pump on. As you can see after a while. I don't know if you can see it here or not, but there is a uh, fine bubbling in there now, which you can see is where I rather know that it's at the, uh, the hydroxy. But I'm going to let it sit here and go for a while, cleanse the plates, and uh, see how far the amperage draw goes up to, and then uh, call from there. Anyways, this is uh, MO68X.